today's class is going to be seven yoga poses to loose up your tight leg muscles. Um, so this tightness in your legs can be very uncomfortable. It can even be painful. And if left unaddressed, this tightness can lead to de decreased range of motion in your hips, postural misalignment, and these tight hamstrings can pull on your back and creating back issues. But don't worry, do yoga. So yoga poses and stretches can be very, very helpful therapy to provide you either instant relief or more gradual relief. So we're very glad you joined us here today. And let's begin with an ancient Sanskrit pose. Here's the name of it. Calf smashing. <laughs> Calf smashing. So we're going to come to our knees and we're going to roll up. Oh, first of all, please get two yoga blocks if you have them and a yoga strap and a blanket, a yoga blanket or just any blanket. So you're going to come to your hands and knees and smuggle this blanket right up behind your knees. And then this is called myofascial release. Sit back gradually and then this gets rid of those pesky knots. So this can be quite intense. When I first did this pose, it was like, but, you know, little by little, your body gets used to it. And this will loosen up those pesky tightness and knots in the backs of your leg. So if it's too intense, come up. Don't make it too, too uncomfortable. You'll know when it's right. Just breathe and let this release. This is myofascial releasing. This is what a um, massage therapist might do for you. Sometimes when you roll on different um, yoga props and things like that, it also does it. So this is another way to do it for your calves in the back of your legs. So come on up. Take a little breath. Snuggle it up a little bit more. And also, if it's too much, too much tightness, you can make it a little less. So you see my feet are straight back behind me, and then I come back down again, snuggled up. You can feel that it really helps. This is yoga for health and joy. Healthy leg muscles. And by the way, if you want more yoga tips or the yoga accessories that we're using here, you can check them out at my website yoga or not yoga for health and joy your health and joy.com i'd like to give you information where you can get some of these things and give you tips and health news so come on up from that ah really good okay now you can set this blanket aside now we won't be needing that for the rest of the class and come to seated get your sit bones way back Actually, if your lower back isn't in and up, you can sit on the edge of the blanket to help you get your lower back in and up. And you want to root your thighs down. And we're going to take a forward pose. So you push your thighs down, squeeze your kneecaps, and just root down through your legs. And you can walk your hands out your legs as far as you can, as long as your thighs don't come up. If this comes up, you know you've gone to your edge. So you stop right there. Then if you'd like, you can use the strap and wrap up the, the part where, of your foot where your toes meet your foot. Lift up and then root your thighs and stretch long through your spine and breathe in. Patsimottanasana, Sanskrit name for this one. And breathe. And then you can walk down little by little. Keep breathing and rooting your thighs. You'll feel nice. Stretch your Sometimes you think these are so tight, they're never going to open, but they do. They do, they do, they do. So you can release and get a hold of your feet. Lengthen a little longer. Everybody's body's different. Maybe your legs are too long, so you use the strap. And then you can put the strap aside. 
here's a really good one to open up the backs of the legs, those hamstrings that get so tight from walking. Pick up one leg, pick up the right, stack your right knee over your left knee, make sure you get space in your pelvic floor, that'll help your thighs root down. Hold on to your knees here, lift up, you gotta always want to have length in your spine as you fold forward over your legs. This top leg helps root the bottom leg down. Actually, you can use the strap again if you prefer. You don't want to fold too much, you want to get length. You get a lot of length, then you can start folding after you, it feels right. This is a really good back of the leg hamstring stretch. Keep stretching, stretching. The more you practice, the more progress you make. And then you root down through your legs to come on up. Let's set the strap aside for me. And take your right leg out. And pick up your left leg, cross your left knee over your right. Hold on here, get your lower back in and up. And root that leg down. And then fold forward. Stretch long, elongate your spine. And you'll notice my toes are active. It's much better than just having a floppy foot. Get the whole leg involved here. Loosening up all the leg muscles. So spread your toes, activates the calves all the way up to the knees. Breathe right into the backs of the legs. So those little muscles open, open, open. Cross your legs, and then we're going to do bridge pose. But the emphasis is going to be different. You can all, a lot of these yoga poses do so many things at one time, but we can place a different emphasis or awareness to the pose to activate the part we want to activate. So in this pose, we're going to root our shoulders down, root your feet down, make sure your feet are hip width distance apart, and then lift up your hips. And now here, You'll feel the backs of your legs getting stronger, but I want you to isometrically drag your feet towards your chest. So then that makes it even more active. And you're lifting your hips up. This is giving you a nice uh, hip flexor stretch too. Hips up. You can interlace your hands behind to get a little more length. And my feet are active and dragging them back towards my shoulders. And we'll release our hands, exhale, come on down. So seven poses. This is pose number four. Let's do this one again. Inhale up. And then you can roll your shoulders under, press your feet into your mat and drag them back. And you'll feel the backs of your legs getting activated. activated. Dragging them back. It's much different than not doing that. You can even, now just for the experimental part of it, push your feet forward. Exhale, come on down. Hope you like that. Now we're going to do a pose called Half Hanumanasana, also known as Runner Stretch. Now this is where two blocks come in quite handy where you can get two big somethings that you have. You don't have blocks. So the blocks fall right underneath your shoulders, your arms. Put your left foot out, tuck your toes behind you, and isometrically push your heel in and drag it back. You want to drag your outer left hip back, right hip forward. Drag it back. You'll see the toes are spread again to activate your whole shin muscles. And squeeze your kneecap help protect the backs of your legs as they open. Now, here's what I really like, is going on the inside. Stick your booty out, the left booty out, and then roll to your inner left heel. This activates your inner hamstring muscle. You have three, an inner, a middle, and an outer. So this gets the inner hamstring muscle. Feels really, really good. And then we're gonna roll through center. Take your torso and your arms and your blocks with you over, pull to your outer left heel, drag it back. 
Yogi's choice, how much you want to drag it back, a little or a lot. And just leave it there, you're not going to get much of a stretch, but you don't want to ice your feet. You move to the other side. Right leg forward, spread your toes, drag it back, square your hips, pull over to your outer right heel. You can do this a little bit longer on your own. Come through center, over to the other side. Pull through your inner right heel, stick your booty out. Stretch the inner hamstrings. And then spread your toes and give yourself a symmetrical stretch right through the center. And then slowly come back down. We'll set the block aside for now. And we're going to have you stretch out the backs of your legs in downward facing dog. So come to all fours, spread your fingers nice and wide. Lift up your knees, lift up your hips, and press your hips way back. From the back of your heart, push down through your arms, down through the mounds of your index finger. From the back of your heart, lift up through your spine, up through your sit bones, and then press your thighs back. Feel a nice stretch. And then here, I want you to walk your dog. Bend one leg, then the other. Walking your dog. And by walking your dog, the straight leg gets a little deeper stretch. Breath by breath, as you press your thighs back, left thigh comes back when your left heel is going down. And your, your legs will become more flexible and more loose to help you be mobile and healthy for a long time. And then we're going to slowly walk up. Bring your hands to your hips. Draw your shoulders on your back. Move through your legs. Inhale, come on up. And we're going to do another pose, the last pose. Parsvottanasana. Two straight legs. Bring your feet about three feet apart. Square your hips. And I put that block there just because you might want to use it. Push your legs straight, square your hips, and fold forward. If you want, you can bring your hands down like this. Push your legs into the earth. Come on up. We'll change sides. Square your hips. Squeeze your kneecaps. Push your legs into the earth. Exhale. Extend your spine long. Fold forward. Fingertips down. Push your legs straight. Square your hips. And then come on up. And I hope you found these seven poses very helpful to you. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you how that worked out. And from my looser legs to your looser legs, namaste.